Hello everybody, thanks for joining me. We've got this face down here. We've got a couple here down on the construction paper and we're gonna take a look at a few of these. Of course you can see the right side image of this person and you can maybe start to see that there's gonna be something poking out on the left as well. The shadows are only really set up for a right side profile. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at a few of these right here. These are also bird heads or duck heads left side beaks take a look at this big old duck head or bird head another beak on the left hand side there you see how when you tilt it away different distances are going to help look at the colors this is the eye that's the beak it is a big old bird head and several other things as well but that's the easy one to see of course, as we know, these are all pieces of white quartz. This is all paint. Waiting on some money to get that tested. Other people's money, not my money. But we want to get these things tested. This archetype, it is the triangle head archetype. Has the big old carved in eye there and the little lips. And then the tab. I did a video entitled Triangle Head Archetype. He repeats over and over again. Some people think that this triangle head archetype is an alien. The archetype of the aliens. I don't know, it kind of looks like our aliens, like the way that we, you know, this is a side profile, right? But if you were to make this into like a 3D round image, maybe. Hmm. This is the same one. So the characteristics of these are the chiseled out mouth, the big black eye, and the little tab. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole and try to count the eyelashes with you and show you these big old eyes with the circles and the eyelashes and the eyebrow and everything over them because it doesn't seem to make a difference. You can't see them anyway. So I got to start off slower. I got to show you guys these matching stones, which is fine. I understand. This one might be that triangle head archetype. You see how when you tilt it, so some of them are going to be a little more vague. They just want to represent, um, you know, as many of the archetypes as they can in one. This one has some really neat color on that side. There's something going on over there. But we're going to take a look at this one real quick. This one also might be one of the archetypes here, one of the triangle head archetypes. I believe that it is. So you see how that cracked open mouth there and then the big socket for the eye. This stone is very neat, very unique. So, it's got a lot of things going on for it. There's actually a loop. You see that hole? There's a loop in this stone around the lip, perhaps to put some jewelry or something, but take a look at this. I'm go ahead and tilt it so that this top section becomes the eye. Really neat, right? Does that look like an alien to you guys? This rock looks like it's from outer space, that's for sure. So these holes are extremely deep inside of here. Some of them even have little lines and ridges and they're actually carved in pupils and eyes. All seeing eyes sometimes. I wanna show you how the holes on that side because the rest of the stone is completely smooth. This stone does have bird as well. It's a couple birds, they all do. This is the bird, recessed beak, left hand portrait. It's also gonna be one this way. Right side beak, crest, and of course the big carved in eye right there, just looking like that. And then it's also gonna be one like this. So you can pull up that crest, poke it straight up in the air. You can see how that the left side beak there looks more like a dinosaur head, maybe a, I don't know, cardinal blue jay kind of thing. It's the way this multifaceted art works, guys. There's several images in one. There's a lot of different things going on with these. This is a big turban, recessed face again, just like the beaks are. You can see his little diamond-shaped eye there. 
And I'm going to go ahead and try to keep this short, guys. I'm a little tired, as you can tell. But I really am thankful for y'all. Um, thanks for joining me. You know, I want to try to show you guys as many of these things as I can. But, uh, you know, I understand that not everybody has the time for all this. So, uh, we got a lot out. But the thing is, I got to get these out of my house. They attract bugs. Who would have known? We have a lot more to explore, a lot more to go through. So stay tuned, subscribe if you are not already, and check out the future channels, guys. We got a, a team of people doing this with us now. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.